What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about something that's a part of my past, and we're going to be revisiting it. So, a while ago, I believe it was back in May, I made a video called About Vlare, where I discussed that I was quitting the video platform known as Vlare, due to the fact that the community there has gotten extremely toxic. I never explained every detail on the things that I went through, but who knows? If this video gets 5 likes, I'll make a video talking about it. We'll see. Anyway, let's jump into it and see what we got. Okay, we are on Vlare. Uh, trying to get in, the site crashed once, and that's something that the site is notorious for, is crashing a lot. So that's immediately a dislike from me. That's like a negative point. It seems that Vlare hasn't fixed the website crashing, and that happens a lot, and it's really sad. It really is. Anyway, now that I'm actually in the fucking platform, let's take a look at everything here. So we got the videos being watched section being the first thing that's popped up, which is pre pretty cool because it shows the videos that are getting views and just kind of showcases them here in case anyone's interested in watching. So we got videos like Animaster being Animaster, 20th Century Fox logo horror remake, Super Mario 64 without water, which honestly I'm intrigued in watching that, so I might have to do that before the end of this video, but I don't know. A Q&A video by Mr. Multiverse, and he shows up a lot by the way. This guy... Even ever since I quit, he's been he's been growing. He's definitely been making waves on Vlare. Um, as you can see, we got an episode of anime by Yusho Productions, uh, IAW Abridged Episode 1. Interesting. PS4, how to fix a serious error has occurred issue. Okay. Yeah, there's some decent content that gets uploaded here to the videos being watched section. Some of the things seem really cool, like this. The 20th Century Fox logo horror remake seems really interesting. This seems interesting. Like, I'm curious about this. I haven't seen anything on YouTube pop up like that. But everything else here on this list, I'm not exactly intrigued in any of that. Uh, moving on. Looking at the trending videos. Um, let's see here. So let's take a look at the top 12 trending videos. We got Has Been Hotel is getting a TV show, which by the way, I do know that. And that is fucking amazing because Has Been Hotel is fucking awesome. You got a problem with it? Fucking fight me, bitch. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, uh, next up we got Fan Fiction Idea, Jurassic World slash Gravity Falls, which seems like an interesting idea. And even though they aren't the most popular, it is trending on number one and number two. So good for Mr. Multiverse. Uh, the Husband Hotel video has 118 views, and the fanfiction idea Jurassic World Gravity Falls has 48. So you're not going to get a lot of views on Vlare. You're not going to grow uh, beyond the point of getting thousands upon thousands of views per video like you can when it comes to YouTube. I mean, it is a possibility with Vlare that that could happen, but it's still a very small platform. A lot smaller than YouTube, and that's damn sure. Uh, the third one is kid can't take a bad like to dislike ratio and leaves. That is something I also don't like about Vlare. Um, a lot of people on Vlare back when I was creating content here, if they got a lot of hate, um, they'd leave or they'd become extremely toxic to the point where it was fucking bullshit. And it was a really annoying thing. There was quite a few people who were like that. I, I think Shark Plays FDF or SPF or something like that was another content creator on here who after getting into a beef with me after the whole rice leg situation. And if you want any info about the rice leg situation, I did make a video talking about that in the past. It will be linked in the description, so go check that out. But after that, I kind of got into a beef with Shark Plays and clearly I came out the one who kind of put him away. And it, like shut him up and eventually he just got so toxic to the point where he just left the platform as a whole. But enough about that. It's just another thing I do not like about content creators here on Vlare if they get a lot of hate. By the way, not everyone's like that, but there's a lot of people who are like that. Uh, the fourth video on trending is Trump Sings Baka Mitai, which I've seen a few of the Baka Mitai memes. A lot of them are entertaining, but I've never seen Trump and I don't plan on watching it because I don't care. <laughs> uh, the fifth video on trending is Hardcore Windows NT Terminal Server. There's more to it, but I'm not reading it. Uh, oh, multi-document editing and gaming. So interesting, not something I'd know much about, but you know, it's whatever. Uh, 
Part 11, Paramount Feature Presentation, 965,345,210. Multitillion times scarier, work in progress. I think multitillion is the right word, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, these videos don't got the biggest amount of views, but due to the fact that it is a smaller platform, it's nice to know that creators, no matter the amount of views that they get, they can get put on trending, which is something I really like about Blair, which means if you do have a smaller channel, it doesn't matter how small you are. It shows that you're equal compared to everyone else, meaning you have the possibility of being seen by just as many people as others, and that's definitely a good thing about Blair that you can't really get on YouTube. For example, if you're a small creator on Blair, you have the possibility to get on trending, there's a lot more people who are going to support you, and even though I did talk about how toxic people can be, they're mainly toxic when it comes to them not getting their way, or if you're leaving the platform as a whole. When it comes to a small creator beginning Blair and actually enjoying content, a lot of people are actually very supportive. So it's something I really dig about Flair. Anyway, let's go back to the home screen. I'm not reading any of the other ones because I'm sure you already read them at this point. Okay, looking at the next thing, recommended videos. Now, the one thing I do not like about the recommended videos is it's, it's never changed. I've seen these videos pop up so many times, it's ridiculous. And they've been getting so many views that I've already seen them multiple times. Even if you've been on Blair for a short amount of time, I'm sure you've seen these videos pop up countless amounts of times. I feel like they need to be updated a bit more often, uh, showcase more videos that need to be recommended. Because I feel like if you have a video under recommended videos, that is going to help you get views a lot quicker than being on the trending. Don't get me wrong, being on trending on Blair is cool. I've been on trending before on my past channel on Blair, but being on recommended is something I never got. But as you can tell from the views of these videos, 3,756, 5,022, 5,552, 2016, you get a lot of views if your video is recommended by the website Blair itself. The only thing that makes me sad is it barely gets updated. Meaning these videos pop up so much that it's kind of not fair to other creators, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, moving on, I don't really care about the recommended videos section. All right, so the next thing we're looking at is trending channels. I'm not gonna be reading every single channel because there's there's quite a bit of channels here, but these are kind of like upcoming channels that have been trending and doing really good. Some of them have been here for a while. Some of them have recently got on here. Uh, last time I was on Blair, I believe Mr. Multiverse was trending before. So it's not the first time that his channel was on trending. So he's probably been there for a while, but he is making some pretty good waves on Blair itself. Uh, 30,450 views throughout his whole entire channel, which is really good. And 204 followers, that's also pretty good. Now we have this channel here called Juliet, which has three followers and 205 views. I've never heard of Juliet before. So I'm sure it's a brand new channel, like an up and coming channel. So I really hope that this channel succeeds. Even though I don't want to come back to Blair, because of how people were and how shit the site was being during that time, I still hope the people that use Blair can succeed. As long as they're not pricks or people that aren't worth my time, I hope they succeed. Uh, we got Logoboy98, 14 followers, 5,370 views throughout the channel in total, which is cool, good for him. I've seen you before, Captain Duck Turd. I never really cared about Captain Duck Turd much, but I'm really happy that he was able to get somewhere. 412 followers and 25,000 views in total. That's pretty crazy. I've also seen Cal before. Glad that he's on trending. Although he's an interesting channel. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not saying it's a bad channel. I'm just saying it's interesting. And there's quite a, there's actually quite a few people that you're going to come across here. So good for everybody that's on trending. It also shows uh, people that are trending for a certain genre for the members. These are members that are trending. Animators that are trending. Comedians that are trending. Directors that are trending. Gamers that are trending. Also, shout out to my boy, Trevor Winters. He's awesome. Him and Gaming Francis are the two creators on Vlair. I don't care what people say. It's just facts to me. Deal with it. Uh, gurus, you got these guys. Reporters. Reviewers musicians and it, it, it pretty much goes on so yeah this is pretty much something cool that youtube doesn't have it doesn't showcase 
uh, smaller channels that are on trending in order to get them a head start like this. So that's another positive from Vlair. I'll give him that. All right, so the last thing that we can come across on the homepage is featured videos. So let's take a look at this. Now, the one thing I don't like is not many videos get added to the featured videos section. It's kind of like recommended videos, but it does not get updated that often. Uh, last time I was here, um, I believe this was the last video that was put on there, and that was January 1st, and that was before I left January 1st, because I left in February, and the next video was added March 17th, and April 13th, May 9th, May 14th, uh, May 17th. Not many videos get added. I'm sure a few do from time to time, but not many, and I feel like more people need to have some of their videos featured. Just saying, my opinion. Alright, so another cool thing is we have this section here called All Videos. And this is every video that gets uploaded. I think this is one of the coolest things about Vlair because you have so much variety to pick from. Like, you can look for gaming. And if you click on gaming, it'll show each gaming video that was uploaded in order. Which is really fucking cool. Just saying, look at that, my buddy Gaming Francis right there. I don't really talk to Trevor, but I do know he's a cool dude. But I do talk to Gaming Francis quite a bit. He's an awesome dude, and his YouTube channel will be linked in the description. And I'm gonna be nice and I'll link his Flair too. Even though I don't really want much to do with Flair, but hey, it is what it is. But overall, it's really cool. Like, you can see a lot of the newest content that gets uploaded. You can look for the most viewed content, the most discussed, and the best rated. So that's another really cool thing about Flair. Now, the next thing we're gonna be looking at is channel blogs. Back when I was using Flair, this isn't something I really used at all. Like, this is something I just didn't care about. But I might as well showcase it here and see if there's anything that really changed. So, there's a few things that pop up. Uh, the Autistic Mind of Alley Color. Hello, Flair community. I'm new for here and I feel good with that. The updated news on YouTube. What happened with all the Copa talk and shocked at Flair's plunge. Why I like Flair TV more than YouTube. Like, pretty much... It's just people kind of like writing things down, typing things in, and putting out some blogs for people to read. So I don't really care about this. I don't consider it a win or a lose. I think it's just there. And for the people that do use it, it's probably really cool. But for the people who don't use it or even look at it, it's kind of fucking worthless. Now, here's another thing on Vlair that I find interesting, and I was going to consider getting into it, but I never got into it because I just ended up not giving a shit, and I find it kind of just as worthless as the blogs to me. Which we got groups. Now, if you're a part of a group, I'm sure it might be able to help you grow a little. But other than that, I don't know anything about it. So to me, it's worthless. So now we are looking at the statistics. Um, we got minutes watched today. Zero minutes. Activity level. Who are you? Minutes watched total. How does it say I watched two minutes? I don't remember watching any videos. I don't know, probably a glitch or something. I don't remember clicking on any videos, just saying. Minutes watched today. These are kind of like the statistics overall for the platform. Uh, the minutes watched today's in total was 1,123 minutes. Minutes this week, 25,592. Minutes watched in total, 1,426,413 minutes. Videos currently on the platform, 78,614. Video comments, 77,584. Video ratings, 139,148. Video views, 100 or 1,169,741, which is really cool, by the way, because the views are really going up when it comes to this platform. Good for them. Uh, channel comments, 29,153. User blocks, 16,000 or 1,660, which I don't really understand how the user blocks works. I think it's stupid. I don't know, I just never cared about it. And now, the users. To me, this is the most important thing here to show how big Vlair is as a whole. It has 35,407 users, so it really shows you how popular this site is compared to YouTube. Clearly, YouTube is levels above Vlair popularity-wise, and I highly doubt that'll ever change. Just saying. And then you got, like, the follows, 94,221. Favorites, 26,918. Active users... 1252 videos runtime 467 157 
Uh, chat messages, 47,476. So, yeah, cool. My history. Maybe this will show me the videos that I apparently watched. What is this? I don't remember watching these. I'll probably show you when the time comes, so... So it's pretty much just a video of um, some guy playing Super Mario 64 recording his TV. Good for him, but I don't remember watching that at all. <laughs> now, another thing I don't get is why is this popping up? I didn't see this at all. I didn't even accidentally click it. That's weird. That's really weird. Anyway, we got quick list. Uh, you can add videos to your quick list to watch later. So it's kind of like the watch later thing from YouTube. Uh, we got premium. Which, back when I used Vlayer, I never cared about getting premium. I just uploaded to upload. Uh, but when you do get premium, it's like $5.99. And you get ad-free and downloads, upload in full HD, and customize your look. So, something I kind of don't give a shit about, really. <laughs> and you got settings, which is interesting. Because you got turbo landing, which these are on. Turbo loading decreases the page load times by a lot. But in case people prefer regular loading or have a browser that breaks because of it, you can disable it. So you got some cool little things here. And, you know, fuck light mode. <laughs> I bet that hurt your eyes, didn't it? But yeah, it's this is pretty cool overall. But that's pretty much Flair. Now, before we get off here and I go talk back into my voice recorder to put into an audio file and I put some more gameplay over it, there's a few creators that I want to look at and see how they're doing on Vlair personally. Well, fuck me. Vlair crashed. Okay. So he has five more followers on Vlair than what he does on YouTube. And he uploaded 12 hours ago. He gets about... He gets more views on YouTube from what I've seen. I don't know, though. This seems to be his most popular video on Vlair he's uploaded as of late, which has 13, so... Good for him. Definitely shout out to my buddy. I'm gonna bookmark this and come back to it so I can link it in the description. And we're looking at my buddy Trevor Winters. I don't know much about him. I do know that me and him had an agreement. We don't like people who like the bot views. And we were up against this dude a while ago who was, like, botting views. And he got a lot of hate, and then we kind of got dislike botted over it. So this guy's really cool. And not only that, he's really nice too. And it seems that he does put a lot of effort into the content that he creates. And he has 58 followers, which is also really cool. And he uploaded August 7th, so two days ago. Anyway, good for these guys. Anyway, let me get back on my little voice recorder thing for y'all. All right, so we have finally left the website after revisiting it. So I'm going to be speaking on my opinions alongside negatives and positives of the platform. Before we dive into that though, I'd like to apologize ahead of time. It's currently 1.45 in the morning, and at the time of recording this, I also have to finish everything and edit it and have it all put out by the morning for y'all, so I really hope you enjoy this video. So let's dive into the negatives. The most annoying negative in this site is crashing. It happens way too much. Just trying to revisit the platform alone had me witness five crashes, and that sucks. Blair needs to fix that, or perhaps the site might die out. It's just a thought of mine, but if the site continues to crash for as much as it is, that's not good. Another negative is the toxic community. Now, hear me out. Not every member on Vlair is toxic, just the people who hate the fact that you're leaving the platform or the people that don't like the things you're saying, but they can't take an opinion. And that's clearly annoying to deal with, but you're gonna get that on every platform. So I can't exactly blame Vlair here, but the people that use Vlair. Not everyone but quite a few people. Another very small negative is things need to be upgraded. Like the videos on the recommended video section or this and that. It's like it barely gets upgraded or updated and it could help out so many small creators and that's truly saying something. And last but not least, the worst one of all, fake accounts. Now in this video, I showed no evidence on what happened with fake accounts, but trust me, it was a thing. Back when I left Vlair in February, someone made a fake account of me and made me out to be like I was an awful person, and they nearly succeeded if it wasn't for Vlair taking action. That was a very shitty time, and I'm glad that's apparently over with, but who knows, it could still be going on, no clue. Now that the negatives are out of the way, let's get into the positives. 
Probably my favorite positive of all time is there is a great chance smaller channels can succeed thanks to the trending video section. Back when I used Vlare, it got my video to 1.5k views and got me noticed easily all because I made a video speaking of my opinion. Which was really cool by the way. Another positive is a positive community. Now I know y'all might be thinking, didn't I mention the community being toxic and the negative stuff? Well, yes I did. But I also mentioned not everybody is like that. When you first start, there's a lot of people who are really friendly and kind and are willing to support you. And I'm super thankful for those kind of people because they're really kind hearted and I'm glad they're on Vlare. A really cool positive is a list of every video that gets uploaded in order. It gives you so much variety on things you can view there and people upload a lot of interesting content that is fairly enjoyable. But speaking on enjoyable content, let's get into the last positive in my opinion. Decent content. From what I know, nobody has Markiplier or PewDiePie type of content on Vlare, so it's not going to be the most perfect. But it doesn't change the fact a lot of content is either decent or really cool. And I hope a lot of people on Vlare get recognized for the content that they create because it's some really good content on there. But yeah, this was just me re-looking back into Vlare, giving it a visit, hoping to see the positives and the negatives, and kind of just getting a nostalgic feeling from it really, but I feel good going back to see how Vlare's doing. Of course, not exactly much has changed, but I'm glad that Vlare's doing okay still, and I do hope the site succeeds. So, thanks for watching, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure to visit my buddies in the description below, make sure to visit Trevor, Winters, and Gaming Francis, not only on YouTube, but on Vlare as well, it would help them out a lot. Also, feel free to visit Vlare and look into it yourself, because I may have opinions, but not everybody's opinions are the same, it's what makes us all human. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.